Hello, everyone. Welcome to Master Word. In Year Three, Lesson Two, Chapter Five, we will talk about a little trick of multiplication. Multiplication of zero and numbers end with zero. We all know one plus zero equals to one. So what about one times zero? First, let's check out the meaning of one plus zero equals to one. For example, Jack has one apple. Annie has no apple. So Jack and Annie totally have one apple. That's one plus zero. Equals to one. Now, what about one times zero? We have one apple and an empty plate. If we do not put the apple on the plate, repeat. If we do not put the apple on the plate, then. There are how many apples on the plate? Zero. That's one times zero equals to zero. Or we have four apples. One, two, three, four. Four apples, and an empty plate. Again, if we do not put any apple. On the plate, if we do not put any apple on the plate, then there are how many apples on the plate? Zero. So we have four apples and an empty plate. If we do not put any apple on the plate, then. There are how many apples on the plate? That's four times zero equals to zero. One more example. There are twenty-eight students on the playground, and their classroom is empty. If no one Enters into the classroom. Then, there are how many students in the classroom? That's twenty-eight times zero equals to zero. Nobody is in the classroom. So, now we understand in multiplication. Any number. Times zero equals to zero. Nice. In chapter one, we have already talked about multiplication of ten. Now let's review together. Ten times six equals to sixty. One possible meaning. Of ten times six is right. There are six ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, six ten. So totally, that's ten. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. You are welcome to double check with ten sixth. So, ten times nine equals to right ninety. Here's an interesting thing. On the left side of the equal sign, there's one zero. 
And on the right side of the equal sign, there's one zero. Meanwhile, one times nine equals to nine. Is that right? Let's check out with 20 times two. For example, there are two plates. One, two, two plates. On each plate, there are 20 apples. So 20 apples on plate one, 20 apples on plate two. So totally, there are how many apples? That's 40. 40 apples in total. So 20 times 2 equals to 40. All right. 20 times 2 equals 2. There's one zero on the left side of the equal sign. So, we write one zero on the right side of the equal sign. Then we do a simple multiplication. Two times two equals to four. So, 20 times two equals to 40. Let's try out this trick with 30 times three. There's one zero on the left side of the equal sign. So we write one zero on the right side of the equal sign. Then we do a simple multiplication. Three times three equals to nine. So 30 times three equals to 90. Let's double check. There are three plates. One, two, three. Three plates. On each plate, there are 30 apples. 30 apples on plate one. 30 apples on plate two. 30 apples on plate three. So totally, there are how many apples? That's 30 plus 30 plus 30 equals to 30 plus 30 equals to 60 60 plus 30 finally equals to 90 it works now let's practice 20 times 5 equals 2. 1, 0 on the left side of the equal sign. So we write 1, 0 on the right side of the equal sign. Then we do a simple multiplication. 2 times 5 equals to 10. So 20 times 5 equals 2. 100. 30 times 7 equals 2. 1, 0 on the left side of the equal sign. So we write 1, 0 on the right side of the equal sign. Then a simple multiplication. 3 times 7 equals 2. 21. So 30 times 7 equals to 210. Nice. 40 times 5 equals to 1, 0 on the left side of the equal sign. So we write 1, 0 on the right side of the equal sign. Then 4 times 5 equals to 20. So 40 times 5 equals to 200. 
60 times 8 equals to 1 0 on the left side of the equal sign. So we write 1 0 on the right side of the equal sign. Then 6 times 8 equals to 48. So 60 times 8 equals to 480. 50 times 9 equals to 1 0 on the left side of the equal sign. So we write 1 0 on the right side of the equal sign. 5 times six, sorry, 5 times 9 equals to 45. So 50 times 9 equals to 450. Last one. 90 times 7 equals 2. Again, 1, 0 on the left side of the equal sign. So we write 1, 0 on the right side of the equal sign. And 9 times 7 equals 2. 63. So 90 times 7 equals to 630. Excellent, everyone. Thank you for all your hard work. I hope now you know how to use the little trick. Multiplication of 0 and numbers end with 0. That's all for Chapter 5. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.